Let's see what you're made of. We're going to have you fight some of our clan's monsters. Take care. This is strictly practice, of course, but accidents happen. And don't hold back, either. Speak to me again once you're ready. This way. to this Leia? Oh, come on! Aren't you ready to rumble? I'm not sure I'd put it like that. Your old wounds aren't acting up, are they? Huh? Uh, no. It's fine. Now that we're doing this, it's gonna have to heal whether it likes it or not. Time to start the test. Are you sure you're ready? Yes, go ahead. We'll be watching from the stands. I was afraid we might have to jump in and rescue you, but clearly that wasn't necessary. Of course not! We're unbeatable! My apologies. I guess I underestimated you. Just me? <laughs> Pretty sure everybody underestimates you. Hey, don't make fun of my friend. <laughs> Sorry. Tomorrow's tournament will be even more challenging. They used to be fought to the death. It was the only way to determine the ruling clan. Whoa. Fortunately, things are different now. The current king of Ajul outlawed that old practice. Sounds like the king's a real prince. Anyway, the real test will be tomorrow. I've gotten you rooms at the inn. Make sure to get a full night's rest. People here sure get excited about these tournaments. Do you not like competitive sports? I don't have anything against them, but I don't get the appeal either. I guess that isn't very manly of me, huh? I don't consider that a bad thing. It definitely defines who you are. The world is far more interesting with people being different from one another. Thanks. That makes me feel a little better about it. But hey, don't get me wrong. I'm still interested in the tournaments from a cultural perspective. Don't they have some major significance in the history of Ajul? The clans have a history of lengthy conflicts and a shared reverence for individual strength. The purpose of the tournaments may be a way to unify the clans under their common belief. Let's hope that belief binds them together, rather than causing more turmoil. So, why build a coliseum up in the sky? To ensure a decisive battle. In the olden days, the loser would be the one who gets pushed out of the ring.
All these statues seem to be of great warriors from Era's past. So when I get super strong, you think they'll make a statue of me too? It appears all of the statues in Shandu were carved by hand, without the use of spirit arts. Statue carving served as a part of a warrior's training. Well, they sure had their work cut out for them. saw more than a single hotel in our entire time there. That's false advertising! It is not! It's perfectly factual! Well, having a high-spirited girl like you behind the counter can't be bad for business. Got that right! In fact, I'm putting together a new package to pull in the tourists! Oh! What is it? First, my mom will pound out their tension points with one of her chiropractic bow staff massages. That sounds painful! Then, a complimentary bowl of Dad's famous Hammerzam stew! Hammerzam? Aren't those the monsters in the mines? It's a great deal, and I'll even give you guys the off-season discount! Ah, that sounds lovely, but I'll have to respectfully decline. Me too! You look bright-eyed and ready to fight. Good. Today's schedule is packed. Because of the number of participants, the tournament organizers decided to cram all the fights into one day. One day? Sounds rough. We'll find out how many fights there'll be once today's matchups are announced. When you hear the bell tolling, come to the arena at once. That heralds the start of the tournament. We'll be waiting up at the arena. I guess we have some time to kill. What should we do? I'm going to the plaza. Something's been bothering me. Oh, I'll come with you. I'll get two 